Steven Faraday here, owner of Late Model Racecraft in Houston, Texas. I've been building the baddest street slash race cars for over 20 years now. Started off building my 98 Camaro in my garage at home uh, with the purpose of just going as fast as I possibly could and really just seeing how far I could push a platform and learning as I went was so much fun. So through high school I tinkered with stuff street race as much as I possibly could which sometimes would be four or five nights a week um, racing anywhere from twenty dollars to sometimes a thousand dollars you know back when I was young was a lot of money to me um, then you know went, started going to college and you know went to three years into college kind of stepped up my racing program and I got my Camaro running really well where I started betting big money whether it was once twice three or four times a week we went from betting $5,000 a race all the way up to sometimes $50,000 for one race. So, uh, man, I did that for probably three years where then I'd start having to travel the city to city where people kind of wouldn't know me, kind of know my car. And once I got to a point where I was traveling all the way to the East Coast and all the way to the West Coast to try to make a $5,000 race, it was kind of, I found it was not beneficial for me to keep doing this. So about that time, uh, I got online, found a website called ls1tech.com where other people like me had, whether it was Camaros, Corvettes, or uh, Trans Ams back in the day, uh, they talked about their cars and what they wanted to do to them. Forums were, you know, very new back then. This was uh, the year 1999. So all that stuff was kind of new. And they finally came up with, uh, they called it an LS1 Tech Racing Series. And it was like perfect timing for me. It was, I made a shitload of money street racing um, and I really kind of made my living off of that in college uh, like I said sometimes an average of fifteen or twenty thousand dollars a week was you know very often that would happen so um, once I got the name got out there and people kind of knew who I was the traveling expense just didn't make much sense so when I saw the series I was like this is perfect let me go show everyone in the country actually what my car does run and see if I can run with the best of the best and from 2003 to 2005, uh, I took my car to every event that they had. I might not have qualified number one at all of them, but I did win every single event that we went to. Um, from Houston, Texas, to Bowling Green, Kentucky, to Memphis, Tennessee, they were all over the country. I went and I had a blast doing it. Um, the payouts weren't great, um, but I enjoyed it. I learned a lot and it, uh, it helped me develop you know, the skills I needed to build these cars reliably at the track and to get them to go as fast as I possibly could. So I took that knowledge, I won several different championships, and in that time, people started calling me asking to work on their cars to build them faster, whether it's for a race like that or just for a weekend toy to play with. So, like I said, it's probably my third year uh, up at College Station. Um, next thing you know, I have a driveway full of cars people want me to work on them. And to be honest, I'll tell y'all, I'm not mechanically inclined. Like, I don't like to physically work on cars myself, but I always surround myself with the best. So I had a lot of help along the way to get to where I am today. Um, again, those championships helped. And then next thing you know, people started wanting me to work on their cars. So once my driveway was literally filled with Corvettes and Camaros and the street was, I decided to quit school and open up my business to do this full time. Um, it was a passion of mine that I decided to say I, I could finish school and sit behind a desk and probably make X amount of money, but I really love what I do. And I told myself, even if I only make 20 or 30 grand a year, if I get to play with cars every day, I'd be happy. And again, it's been over 20 years now and I wouldn't regret it, wouldn't change anything for the world. So. Uh, along the way, during the races, um, and we're at events. A lot of times, we start we sell merchandise. So I've always sold T-shirts and stuff like that. People have always asked when they buy the shirts, "Can I sign them?" And you know, at first, I always thought that was kind of awkward signing people's T-shirts or signing stuff here and there. Um, just know, guys, I do truly appreciate it. Now looking back, it makes me feel really good that people actually cared to wear my name or. Uh, you know my brand on them and it truly does mean a lot to me so I went from selling a lot of t-shirts signing t-shirts to building the cars that people would want world record cars so I started building these Corvettes I'm a drag racer so 
we set every Corvette record that you could possibly think of with customers from the C5 platform all the way up to the C8. Customers have always asked me maybe sign their dash or sign under their hood. They wanted their car to be a little bit different than the other cars that I are built in this shop. So I, I have been doing this for quite a while, um, but just recently I've decided to kind of take it to the next level. In the past couple of years I've been doing uh, what I call like a signature series, a Faraday edition signature series Corvette. And uh, today I'd like to uh, show you the C8 platform behind me. To become a Faraday Corvette, it must meet all the requirements. It starts off with a boosted application with either a supercharger or twin turbo system that ranges from 700 all the way up to 1500 horsepower. Also guys, aero means a lot to me. Uh, so every C8 Stingray we build with the Faraday name on it will come with a spoiler, side skirts, as well as a front splitter. And guys, I've installed a lot of aero kits over the years. And some of the stuff you see online that people have brought me to try and install to their cars, if I would have installed them, they probably would have flown off at over 80 miles an hour. I've seen some horrible stuff out there. Know that this is the best quality, the best appearing uh, aero package that I've seen for a C8 uh, Stingray that's available today. Next guys, depending on the performance package you choose, will determine the wheel and tire combination we go with. Uh, every car, obviously guys, whether it's 700 horsepower or 1500 horsepower, I have to build a car that is reliable and also you have to be able to use it. So depending on the performance and the horsepower we make, we'll determine the custom wheel and tire combination we put on that vehicle. For the final touch, we install the Faraday signature on the front on all four wheels, Faraday badge on the back with a custom serial number plaque under the hood. So for you at home with the C8 platform, please contact our sales staff today. They will get you through to me and I will talk to you and I would be honored to build you a Faraday Corvette.